Welcome to the Gazette, your source for fashion, beauty, and Parisian lifestyle on YouTube. Today you'll discover the eight most important haute couture collections from the spring summer 21 season. And we'll decrypt them for you in 10 minutes. I'm Gabby. And I'm Lucia. And just a small reminder, tenemos subtítulos en español. Et nous avons également des sous-titres en français. Let's dive straight into the collection. For his third haute couture collection at the helm of Schiaparelli, Daniel Roseberry wanted to explore the question of what was haute couture supposed to be. And he pushed it forward by moving it away from the cliches we know and we associate it with. He wanted fantasy not to be limited to princess dresses, but to the whole look with pieces that make you aware of the body wearing them. Roseberry wanted to take the unexpected to every aspect of the collection and he presented pieces like pants and bomber jackets which are very unusual for haute couture. He also pushed the use of materials like the use of silk for his jeans or the mix of molded leather and taffetas. We have also rococo and surrealist accessories like the mask that take the shape of a face beneath. If you want to know more about this historical and very surreal brand, go check our video on Elsa Schiaparelli here. For her second digital haute couture collection, Maria Grazia Curie took inspiration from the tarot, both for the collection and for the video presentation. This might surprise you, but Monsieur Christian Dior was a big believer in the divinatory arts and he often trusted what tarot readers reveal about his future. Curie took full advantage of the fantastic nature of the cards imagery to show off the savoir-faire of her haute couture atelier. The collection features a series of spectacular gowns, coats, capes, contrasted with a few masculine looks. Underlining the importance of storytelling, Curie calls on director Matteo Garone for the second time to bring the collection to life in the form of film. The story follows a character in an inner journey, where the duality of feminine and masculine merge inside them. Of course, this journey allows us to discover the characters of Tarot, characterized as such thanks to the most magnificently embellished haute couture look. Special mention goes to this moon hair piece, spectacular and surreal. Loved it. Jean-Baptiste Valli, the king of tools, went to Sevilla for inspiration this season. He did it in spirit, we are sure, because of the travel bans. <laughs> for sure. The most voluminous and statement-ready dresses of every culture season got the Sevilla treatment as Jean-Baptiste Valli wanted to draw inspiration from a place that, through the mix of Spanish and Islamic cultures, became something new. In the video, we can see the models juxtaposed with images of the city. And the massive dresses that are staples of his couture work are as omnipresent as ever. Uh, as he said in an interview, couture is about volume. And before you ask, who buys this? <laughs> he recently said in an interview with Vogue that he has a great success with his last season's pieces with their clients of China and Middle East. As for the beauty, models wore a dramatic cat eye as their only makeup, which also happens to be one of our top five beauty trends of 2021. You can watch that video here. Virginie Viard invites us to a small town wedding in the south of France for her spring couture collection for Chanel. This was the scene that inspired and she says she represented everyone in the wedding party. The bride's mother, some garçon and even a little girl attending her first event. I love the boys looks, I think they're the coolest with the little... Anyway, as you may have noticed, there aren't many guests at the show, but some friends of the maison such as Marion Cotillard, Vanessa Paradis, her daughter Lily Rosep, Caroline Demere, and Penelope Cruz started appearing in the front row as the show progressed. This might be the last time we see a Chanel show at the Grand Palais in quite some time because it will be closing for renovations for a few years. So we are very glad we got to enjoy it one last time. If you guys are enjoying discovering the top haute couture collections with us in a snap, go give it a thumbs up down here. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss our next video. 
On the other side of the spectrum, if you compare it to Giamatista Bari, we've got Valentino. Creative director Pier Paolo Piccioli presented a couture collection more adapted to the times that we are living in. This collection is without a doubt the most casual Valentino couture we've ever seen. And it's no accident, Piccioli wanted this collection to live in the current moment. He says that for this time there's no story, only the clothes themselves. For the first time in a Valentino couture show we see that they wear clothes outweigh the evening gowns 2 to 1. Another first was menswear, which, in the words of the designer, were meant to show that couture is for people, I don't care about gender fashion. What he cares about, he says, is making couture stay relevant to the moment the world is living. The Armani Privé collection was inspired by Via Borgo Nuovo, Palazzo in Milan, where the ateliers are and also where the video was filmed. Monsieur Armani said that while we don't have such active social lives, his quest for beauty continues. He kept the lines quite simple, but didn't squander on embellishment through different materials like feathers, embroidery or velvet. Notable are the pagoda velvets on many jackets and that final electric blue dress, which seemed to want to end this silver collection on a positive note. Can I just say how happy I am to see Albert Elvas again? <laughs> I love him! You may be too young to remember, but Albert Elvas used to be the creative director of L'Enfant from 2001 to 2015, and he's beloved in the industry. He famously quit the brand on not such good terms and took a time off to fall in love with fashion again. We told you a couple of months ago that he announced his new project and this week we finally got to discover what AZ Factory was all about. And let us tell you right off the bat, we loved it! <laughs> he presented his brand in a video that was imagined as a mix between a fashion show, a talk show, telemarketing show and news broadcast all in one. He explained that he wanted to make fashion for women of all sizes, of all ages, a fashion that was practical, comfortable, useful, sustainable and, of course, beautiful to look at. Some of the innovations they introduced are their in-house developed anatomit, which uses different tensions of knits for different parts of the body. The pointy sneakers, which are meant to elongate your legs. And the surfer zipper, which got a high fashion makeover. In short, Elbaz wants to reimagine fashion and make it work for what women today want and need. You can already shop the collection on their website, so we'll leave you a link down here so you can go check it out. Another highly anticipated collection this season is the first one of Kim Jones for Fendi Haute Couture. We already got a sneak peek thanks to a beautiful editorial published in British Vogue where Kate Moss wore the collection. The runway took place in an infinity hall containing a Fendi logo crystal labyrinth. The collection took inspiration from the British Bloomsbury Group, an association of intellectuals at the beginning of the century, which included Virginia Woolf. He particularly drew inspiration from Orlando, a novel that, where there is a bit of gender blurring, which we see translated into gender fluid looks. Jones also pay homage to the Roman roots of the Maison with inspiration from the Bernini sculptures in the Galleria Borghese and even taken from the archives old and recent originally created by Karl Lagerfeld. As a whole, the collection succeeds in appearing new and classic at the same time, a juxtaposition emphasized by the casting of top models from different generations like Christy Turlington and Bella Hadid. Good job, Kim Jones! We love it! <laughs> That's it, you guys. If you're still watching, it means you probably enjoyed it, so don't forget to give the thumbs up down here. And hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss our next content. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok for more fashion. Thanks for watching. See you next time. A couture, a couture. We got something to tell you. Ya puedo dejar de sonreír.